Hello everybody, YTBD here, we are playing Minecraft. So as you guys know, me and Silent Boom are doing a friendly little competition for redstone building where we build random contraptions by your request or by our request if we're bored because the original one was my request, the Austin Hourglass. So the one that I selected to do was Doors Galore and uh, I think you can see the around half of it somewhere over there that long stretch of building in the distance, that's the beginning of Doors Galore. But I decided to upload this little video as a little sidetrack, because uh, as you know, uh, Silent Boom uploaded two versions of the Outsting Hourglass, because he was challenged by uh, the CSDD team to make a better one, and it seems that he succeeded in that point. And so in that video, they gave us a mini challenge to make an elevator using gravel, using the same uh, design. Well, I for the life of me could not figure out how to make it using gravel. But remembering an interesting property of a block introduced in 1.8, that I read about on the Minecraft forums, I decided to make this elevator. So here's the same piston clock that Silent Boom had. I'm just going to place a piece of glowstone right here. This is an elevator that's made using solid blocks. And I'll take the sound of pistons down for a second. That's a bit too loud. I don't want it to overshadow my voice. This is a piston elevator using solid blocks, I use glowstone, and fence gates. So I wait for a block to come up like, oh, it's a bit too late, here we go, brings me up, step out, and then I guess I can also go down if I want, and we go. Okay. So the reason this works is because fence gates have an interesting property. One thing, they can be open and closed, which means that by opening and closing them, you can change them from a solid block, a block that you can't walk through, to a transparent block, a block that you can walk through. So normally you can't walk through fence gates, but by opening them, you can now walk through them. They're transparent. I can walk through them in any direction, even sideways. But even though I can walk through them, Minecraft still treats them as a solid block. So, even, so when they're closed, oh, raining, let me turn that off, I don't need the rain to cause lag. So when they're closed, they're a solid block, they can be pushed by pistons. But when they're open, even though I can still walk through them, they're still treated as solid blocks by pistons and other blocks, so I can push them with a piston. And so using the about the same as piston design that Sandra had, except I had to use four pistons instead of uh, three or two. I remember CSD D, in your comment, you talked about you making a gravel elevator using only two to three pistons. I could not figure out how to do that. If you want to post up a map link or a video, or even better, a video about how you did that, that'd be great. So, but yeah, it uses four pistons to cycle around a collection of fence posts, fence gates, and solid blocks. And so I took the weight for nice spot to go up, brings me up, not extremely fast, I guess I could practice with the timing, I made it relatively slow for the beginning, because I was just testing, and you can go down, technically I'm in creative mode, so I don't know if block pushing on top of my head would suffocate me if I was in survival, that probably would be a good idea, I should test that later, yeah, that is a basic piston elevator, using fence gates, and solid blocks, to use those things, it's cool, I guess technically, if I wasn't lazy, I'd make like an XOR gate so that I have a lever down here and a lever up there that could open and close it, but it's pretty early in the morning and I really only got up because I wanted to watch a new episode of a certain show. But yeah, here's a little an elevator. I don't know if this is what you wanted, CSDD, but this is the best that I could come with and it seemed pretty neat so I thought I'd share it. And Doors Galore is still coming along, like I said, it's over there, that little building in the distance. I will probably integrate this elevator into Doors Galore somehow. But until then, this is Y2BG signing out. Oh, oh, before I go, I should probably say, I am using a texture pack. What is the name of my texture pack? I really have no idea. Sharp Design. Sharp Design and name of my texture pack. It's a nice one, isn't it? I like it. There'll be a link to the texture pack in the description. And also in the description will be a link to my practice map. Will be a link to this map. Oh, it stopped. Oh my. Oh, because of a world reloading. Oh, that's not what I wanted.
what to do. There we go. Actually, no, there won't be a link to this map. If I give you guys a link to this map, you'll we'll be able to check over the doors galore. So no, you'll just have to look at this for now. Maybe I'll make a separate map to add in the description. But until then, wait for doors of the galore to come along. Hopefully, I can finish by today and maybe make another video. But until then, see everybody. It's Y2D signing out.